Meet Michael Colombo, the Arancini King of America. We make 48 different types of arancinis. That's right. At Brilundi in Waltham, Michael and his team make just about every kind of arancini you could imagine. It's everything from meat, ham and cheese, spinach, steak and cheese, teriyaki, we make chicken, we make eggplant. The delicious list is almost endless, and there's an arancini for every occasion. We also make a breakfast arancini, which is egg, sausage, and cheese, and we also make a sweet sweet arancinis, which has Nutella and pistachio. Michael's obsession with arancini and great food in general began when he was a child back in Sicily. I'm from a little town called Castellamare del Golfo, a real mecca for Mediterranean cuisine. A lot of unique pastries, a lot of unique dishes that come out of that part of Sicily. And he's brought many of those dishes and the people who make them here to Burundi. I actually brought here pastry chefs, arancini chefs to assist me in creating a Mediterranean themed restaurant in Waltham. We'll explore the full menu in a minute, but first let's get back to all those arancini because each one of the 48 flavors is made by hand. This is as authentic as we can get from the way they make them where I grew up. We make them by hand, we fill them by hand, so we prepare the rice, the fillings, and then we assemble them together. We make about eight different shapes and sizes, the round, the conical, or barrel, or muffin shape. Just by looking at the shape of the arancini, we know what the filling is. And there's certainly quite a selection to keep straight. There's the traditional meat meat and peas, gooey ham and cheese, breakfast options like the spinach and egg, even dessert arancini like indulgent Nutella and creamy pistachio. But of all the available arancini, the best might just be the outrageously delicious steak and cheese. Steak and cheese is one of my favorites. Just like a steak and cheese sandwich, we use shaved steak and we use American cheese. And when we cook it, it just melts the cheese. When we take a bite, that cheese is just melting and great steak and the outside is a nice crunchy arancini out of rice. It's a sandwich in itself. It's filling. Brilundi is short for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So all three meals are served in their dining room inside the historic Waltham Watch Factory. And everything is up to Michael's high standards. The food has to be fresh. The food has to be made in-house. In fact, we make our own pastas. We make all our own breads. We make our own cheeses. We make all our own pastries. We make all our own gelatos. At breakfast, there's cheese-smothered frittatas, pizza with egg, sausage, and spinach, and a skillet full of seasoned roasted potatoes, to the pair of poached eggs. For lunch, try an overstuffed sandwich on fresh baked bread or a creative pizza topped with gourmet ingredients. During dinner, there are appetizers like spinach and ricotta dumplings and Parmesan cream. Pastas include this classic carbonara with prosciutto, peas, and pecorino. And oversized entrees feature dishes like the steak tip pizziola, with juicy steak tips smothered in mushrooms and peppers and served with spinach stuffed ravioli. When you come to Brunundi, no matter what level of appetite you have, I guarantee you that you will not be leaving here hungry. No meal at Brilundi is complete without dessert. For something simple, there are cups of smooth homemade gelato. For something shareable, try this deconstructed twist on a classic cannoli. We also make a cannolo schiacciato. Schiacciato is the Italian word for crushed. It's like an inside out cannoli. And what we do is we put the inside filling and then we put pieces of cannoli shells in the ricotta cream. And then we drizzle it with powdered sugar, chocolate, caramel sauce, and it makes for an amazing cannoli and people can share that. But there is one one item at Brilundi that you'll want to keep all to yourself, because this simple looking treat is simply one of the tastiest things you'll ever eat. Part warm donut, part creamy cannoli, this mind-blowing masterpiece is known as the iris. And what it is is a brioche bun that we make from scratch. Then we fill the brioche with sheep's milk ricotta. We add lemon zest, chocolate, vanilla. We seal it in a bechamel, and then we do breadcrumbs. We deep fry it, not to cook it, but just enough to melt the chocolate chips inside. Once it comes out, we coat the top with a mixture of sugar and cinnamon. Cut it open, it's got a crunchy on the outside, really soft and gooey, amazing flavor on the inside. So you have this combination of 
of the cinnamon, a little bit of sugar, the cream inside, the chocolate, the lemon zest, and it just makes for an amazing, an amazing pastry. From an iris to an arancini to breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Michael takes pride in serving a slice of Sicily at Berlundi. I am proud of Berlundi. I am proud of the Berlundi menus. I am proud of the Berlundi dishes. I am proud of the Berlundi ingredients. And it's important to me as an individual, this is sharing the passion in which I grew up with.